you were following some of the people who were actually looking for possible bodies buried in, in mm -hmm. some of the wreckage? Yeah, I spent three days. I spent Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, just this most recent Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, out with recovery teams from Savage Freedoms Operations. And when I say recovery teams, I'm sad to report that I'm talking about that we're past the rescue stage, and now they are looking for human remains. And that I went out with their dog teams, their canine cadaver dog teams, and, uh, you know, I was embedded with them to record and document what they were doing. Uh, they found a couple of new sites recently and Monday. I, I did. I had no intention of going out Monday. And in fact, was not properly really addressed for that particular operation that day. And uh, the first thing in the morning during the morning briefing, they said, hey, where's where's that guy? You know, where's the blaze guy? And uh, we need him to go out and cover what we're doing because they found a new site. And it was a recreational vehicle uh, park campground that the owner of the property himself lost four family members to the storm. Two of the bodies of his family members have been recovered and two have not yet been recovered or found. Unfortunately, as the, is the nature of this type of devastation, devastating storm with this kind of um, uh, you know, landslides and the, and the flooding beyond anything that anybody has ever seen before, apart from a, you know, a massive tidal wave uh, or, or tsunami, this, this thing has uh, probably created permanent graves for which people will never, their remains will never be found. And when I went out on Saturday with the team, uh, one of the best dog teams uh, that they operate with, uh, the, the handler's name is Nick, the dog's name is Maverick, and Maverick made 13 hits in two-hour period that I was out with them that day.